Some time ago, I made this song that I was almost completely satisfied with. There was only this small feeling, this small part of me who didn't resonate with the song. So I started rearranging the song, making new parts with new instruments and tried to make it in different tempos. And it was only when I gave up that one morning when I woke that I got this idea that I needed to re-harmonize the chords for the verse. I didn't really know that I didn't like how the chords and the melody played together before I started doing it, but this completely saved my song. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can harmonize or reharmonize your melodies and uh, show you what an impact reharmonizing can do to your melodies. So let's get into it. So to begin with I'm gonna show you the old one. It's You just need to do it Get your hopes up and prepare To touch the sky and fall I'm close to an end The beginning of something grand I wish you were here And then I reharmonized it, and for me, it just simply opened up the melody and it made it sound like I wanted it to. It started to resonate within me. The new one. It's all very easy. You just need to do it. Get your hopes up and prepare to touch the sky. Like I'm listening more to the melody and the words and it's more an exploration now. My easiest way to reharmonize or simply harmonize a melody is to use the root and the fifth. In that way you have so many options because when you're only using the root and the fifth your ears will automatically hear if you want a major or a minor third. Then we can go and add the third later and it will be perfectly fine. If you move around with major or minor chords then it suddenly become like this strong structures and your mind is kind of stuck with it as a major or minor. So let's try. So I just start with making the root and the fifth, which is seven semitones up. This was the same uh, key as before. Or the same chord, so let's try something else. I'm very easy. Yeah, let's, we're just doing something different, so. I'm very easy. You just need. I'm very easy. You just need to do it. Get your heart. Let's try something else. What about this? Get your hopes up and prepare. And then I felt like it had to change you. I'm very easy. You just need to do it. Get your hopes up and prepare to touch the sky. I think I heard it like this. To touch the sky and fall. Touch the sky and touch the sky and fall. It's I'm close. Touch the sky and fall. I just tried something different because 
if I try options that didn't came to me, then I will maybe do something new, something that I didn't think of. The beginning of something grand. I wish you were here to see me now. Maybe like this. To touch the sky and fall. Okay, so now we just decide that this is fine, and then I add the third. added the third that I thought the sounded the best, or the third that kind of came up in my head when I heard the call. I wish you were here to see me now. Let's try to make a new one. Let's make something that changes chords more often because the last one was like a slow one. So I add the third. Us too. Let's make the last, the third one. So let's make some uh, bigger intervals. And let's try to repeat them. 
was actually better than what I expected. Let's add the third. Sad. There is kind of only one way to figure out if your chords are the best, and that's by making some new ones. So try to reharmonize, and if you make some better chords, you have done something really good for your song. And if not, then you know that your chords are really good and strong, and that's a nice way to go ahead in the world and say, here's my song. If you like this video, then please support me by giving it a like or simply by subscribing. Enjoy. I'm close to an end, the beginning of something grand. I will